Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode 463. And the title today is Real Relationship Requires You to Be Real, in quotes, really responsible. Doesn't sound as good. Let me say it again. Real relationship requires you to be real responsible. I know it's not good English, but I want to say it that way because it sounds better. Um, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine. I do these talks every day, have done for a year and, geez, year and seven months now? It's been a while. Because it's number 463, which is a lot of talks every day, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, or Inspire Your Feminine Heart. I want to remember to switch that title slightly. And today's is a follow-up to a conversation I had this morning. I actually did a Facebook Live I actually did a, a dual Facebook Live this morning with a friend of mine. This morning, my time, afternoon, her time, because she's, she's in New Jersey, with Dawn, uh, Dawn Shale. And we were talking about um, real love, real romance, real relationship. And I want to do a PS, which is this talk. So I may not recover everything I said. So if you want to watch that broadcast, that was like an hour long dialogue. And that's on my wall. You can watch it there on Facebook. Oh, this is a Facebook Live initially. So if you're watching it on Facebook Live, you can interact right now. If you're watching the replay, you can add comments. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you can add comments below, but you can't interact live because it's not live there. And if it's on my, if it's on my podcast, you're listening to it now. Sorry, there's no way to put comments because <laughs> it ends up in all three places. I'll give you the links to all of those at the end of the broadcast. So real relationship requires you to be real responsible. And I mean this bluntly. And Michelle, nice to see you in my broadcast. I love her to you too. I'm trusting Hawaii is more peaceful now after the rains have gone through. Um, if you're in Hawaii right now. I'm not sure which side of the coast you travel so much. Anyway, staying on track. And this, by the way, if you're watching this somewhere else, this is Facebook Live, so some of the comments I'm responding to are in the Facebook Live, just so you know. I just got a meowing cat in the corner, if you can hear him or not, of the microphone, but there's a cat meowing just because this is where I'm, my cat sit, that I take care of my friend's cat. Yes, Stormy, I hear you. Getting on track with the topic at hand. In the conversation this morning, I was talking with Dawn, we talked about... <laughs> hey, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> if you can't hear him, it's just me talking to the cat. So if you can, you can hear the meows. In the conversation this morning I had with Dawn, we talked about how being in a real relationship is a adult way of doing things. Now I'm going to put some pieces in the puzzle to give you some hints, because the thing about this is, it's not just showing up and if you want to have a um I say this the way we talked about this morning was if you wanted to have an, um, a, a codependent relationship and we did talk about codependency quite a bit in the conversation this morning you want to make sure that you sorry if you don't care if you want a codependent relationship go ahead but let me explain some of the prices of codependence first and then we'll get into the responsible part second Codependence is this paradigm where you live in a perception that you're not enough. You live in a perception that you don't have the ability to live fully. In fact, you live in a perception that is the other person is going to save you, make you feel better. This is the perfect definition of the role of a victim. Because when you're in a codependent relationship with anybody, not just romantic, but anybody, your boss, your child, your parent, you're at the mercy of their whim. Because if they don't choose to give you what you want, your feelings get hurt. This is the paradigm of codependence. And truly, and there's subtle levels too, but the, in, the, in the broad strokes scheme of things, this paradigm of um, codependence is, is an, <laughs> I was going to say an aberration, it's not really that, but it's very prolific in our culture, has been for generations. And we were talking this morning, as I've said before on the broadcast, that many of the love songs out of the last 60, 70 years were teaching a codependent model. You know, you make me feel, com you make me feel brand new, you complete me, Actually, that's from Jerry Maguire. Um, I can't live without you. All this sort of song title lyric is putting in the framework that your life depends upon the other person showing up. That's not responsible. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also not very healthy. To be in a relationship like that requires you give up your power. Being in a relationship like that gives up your ability to think for yourself and to own your own autonomy. And it's, as you're probably guessing from what I'm saying, it's not what I recommend. The challenge is, how do you change out of that? And in this morning's talk, when I was talking with Dawn, on the Facebook Live is on my wall again, 
we talked a lot about how to really be honoring yourself as a single person. Um, and in fact, relate to a conversation that, uh, not relate to my broadcast yesterday and to a conversation I mentioned in that broadcast. I had a, an, a, a dialogue, <laughs> almost an argument on my wall from last week, with somebody who believed that being single was something wrong with you. That if you weren't in a relationship, you were either scared of a relationship or there's something wrong with you. And I was like, no. Being single is a very healthy place to be if you choose it consciously. Yes, some people spend their lives when they're single bemoaning the fact they're not in a relationship. Again, codependent model, because they don't feel they're complete they're in a partnership, which is the implication that any of us are missing something, which we're not. But the reality is people think that's the way it is because they only feel whole when they're in a relationship. That's an error in approach. A whole relationship is with yourself first. Any relationship you have with anybody else, if you choose this path, the healthy path as I would call it, is one where you are actually able to function in with that person and if they don't do what you want, it doesn't phase you. If they don't do what you want, you actually are um, free to choose what you want. You're not in a place of reaction, reactivity and upset and like, oh my god, they, did do, they didn't do what I wanted, which is what a lot of people do. And a lot of relationships that end up in divorce, sometimes, sometimes not, are tied to this paradigm where they're so enmeshed with each other that neither partner feels completely out of the other. And it's a very um, enmeshed, as the word I used, model where the being in a relationship that way means that you don't have the ability to function if the other person disappears. Now, I'm not speaking about the challenge if you are emotionally bonded and that person disappears and you feel hurt, but I mean you can live your life in a clean place. So if they travel or if they um, are busy doing something else, you don't sit there waiting, twiddling thumbs, waiting for them to come to come see you again. I wasn't twiddling your thumbs, but you know, you know my point. So my reminder to you, my encouragement to you, is to look at relationship from a place of being additive to who you are as a whole being. That relationship is not a um, solvent to your sense of being incomplete. Because if you're running that story about yourself, you're inaccurate. And I have some coaching tips, and I can help you with that, and I'll tell you how to find out about that at the end of the broadcast. So I said real relationship requires you to be real responsible. So let me get into that part of it. For me, a real relationship is where both partners are fully participating as their full beings expressing themselves fully with each other. What's a full there, you noticed? Because a relationship is adding to you, as I mentioned, and unlike the old paradigm where you talk about relationships being 50-50, I'm emphatic about saying relationships are not 50-50 because you're not half a person, and nor is the other person. You don't make each other complete you add to each other's 100% each. So a relationship is actually 200%, not 100%. In a way, it's like a gestalt. The, the, sum of the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. When there's the two of you together in a relationship, it's a much bigger expression together than it is apart. And it doesn't make you less of a person when you're alone. The trap people fall into is feeling that somehow that when they're alone, there's something wrong with them. This is a, this is a story that people talk about, and I'm absolutely disagreeing with this. I, I am looking to eradicate this story because, because for me, being single, because I've been single for a while, intentionally so, is a very healthy place to be because I'm busy in my own life doing what I'm doing. In my particular case, I've been working on my business and my focus and my life's mission, which is, is almost a full-time job. I mean, it's very consuming in the sense I'm very passionate about it. And if a relationship shows up, I mean shows up as I don't go looking for it as I'm out in the world I might meet somebody but the truth is and this is going to be transparent for you or transparency about me for you any person who I meet any woman that I meet that I'm interested in I, I have some <laughs> questions I have some inquiry to make because I want to know what they're about in their lives because frankly I'm only looking for a partnership that adds to what I'm doing in my life if what they're doing doesn't fit doesn't match doesn't complement what I'm doing doesn't matter how attractive they are I'm just going to be honest here. There might be a fling, <laughs> but long-term relationship isn't going to happen. I'm very clear that my work is such that the only partnership I'm interested in having with somebody who's going to join me doing what they're doing that complements what I'm doing or adds to what I'm doing. That's just my, sto my, it's my, my, my story and I'm sticking to it. That's my truth and it's what I'm about. So as many women as, women as, women as I've met the last 10 plus years who are attractive, and it's quite a lot, especially around the, con the um, communities I hang out with, the pursuit of relationship is low on my radar because most of them don't fit what I'm looking for. And that's the truth. It doesn't make it wrong or right. That's just a choice. So being single, as back to what I was trying to say at the beginning, is a healthy choice. 
Now, if you're living in a place where being single for you is a trap and you feel somehow you're missing out on life because you don't have a relationship, I can help you with that too. Because the reality is, if you're feeling that, then you're feeling like you're lacking something and that's not the truth. You may feel that, but it's not the truth of who you are. You're a whole being. And when you know why you're here, your purpose, your mission, your whatever that is for you, no relationship will replace it and no relationship is needed because you feel aligned to your deeper calling, your path, whatever that is. I'm watching where this is going to go, so I'm going to be careful what I'm saying, so hang on one second. Now that's enough right there. Okay, so back onto the track of relationship, being real responsible. A conscious relationship, what I would call an interdependent relationship versus a codependent relationship, is one where the two of you are autonomous and whole beings. You are accountable and responsible for your own participation in that relationship. It's not the other person's job to carry you or to do things for you. If you've got an agreement about doing things for each other, that's one thing, that's another story. But if you're in a place where you're making yourself dependent upon the other person's actions, inactions, comments, silences, positive expressions, negative expressions, then you're being a victim of them and that's the codependent again. A fully autonomous, healthy relationship is where both partners are whole and complete, able to own their own issues, their own stuff, their own upsets, their own voice, and they can be equals in that partnership. And that's the other thing, by the way. A healthy, conscious relationship, a real relationship, is two equals together in partnership, not one above the other or one less than the other. That's another piece of the puzzle. So, to summarize this in a very succinct, clean way, because I want to make sure I... Cause the, if you want to watch the whole talk I had this morning with, with my friend Dawn, that Facebook Live is on my wall earlier today. I'm probably going to put it on YouTube as well just to add to my library there. But I want to make sure you get this point. Relationship isn't blind luck. Relationship is a choice. And same as a real relationship it can be, is, making, is requiring you to be real responsible, a, a codependent relationship can work fine for you too if that's what you want. But again, as I mentioned in this talk, I don't recommend it, and I explain a few things why. So if you're looking for a real relationship, make sure that's your priority, your focus, your intention, and don't settle for less. Knowing that in that real relationship, you've got to be accountable to yourself and to your partner to be honorable, to be respectful, and to be responsible for your participation in that relationship. That, for some people, is a very tall order. But if you're watching my broadcast, you've watched it for a while, it probably isn't that hard for you to grasp that one. So in which case, oh, or very, um, in that case, good. <laughs> I was kind of all over the place with that one. So a couple of things I wanted to let you think about. Um, first of all, as I mentioned, if you are stuck and not sure what to do, I do offer a daily, in my daily talks, I do offer a complimentary clarity conversation called Discovery Session. Um, I'll give you a link for that in a second. Um, I'll post the links, by the way, in the comments below on the Facebook Live and on the YouTube replay so you can see it either way. Um, for this Discovery Session, um, to say it verbally, so you know what it is. My website and all my social media is my name. So Barry Selby is the way you find me. So barryselby.com is my website. If you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat, that's saying sign up for a discovery session. It's a 30 minute conversation, you and me, my gift to you. And if we can find alignment to work, great. If we don't, it's fine too. The second thing, if you're stumbling with how to be fully autonomous and whole, one of the cornerstones that I talk about a lot in my work is self love. And I'm actually now developing, realizing there's another piece coming because so I'm developing, so far it's six more pieces besides this that can help you become a much more effective human being. <laughs> but self-love's the first step. And so on my website, again, I have a self-love practice, a mirror meditation, guided meditation with audio tracks and written um, guidebook, which is at barryselby.com forward slash self-love, or one word. So you can check it out then if you like, if you want to get that, jump in and get it. Um, these are cornerstones and they're starting points. These talks I give every day are additive. I mean, 463 broadcasts. If you watch all of them, it will change your life. And I'm not speaking from a place of arrogance. I'm saying it changed my life. So <laughs> it will change yours too. Reminders of where you find these broadcasts. Again, this is a Facebook Live initially on my, business, my personal page that gets put onto my business page afterwards. And that business page on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. My name's everywhere in this. I also put them onto YouTube where my channel is Barry Selby and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. Um, and the broadcast from this morning won't be in that list because it's not one of these broadcasts. That'll be under the same channel, but it'll be under, I think it'll be under videos of Barry. I think it's the, that's the place it goes. Anyway, this one though, 
will be on messages, messages from the Masculine playlist. That's also the name of the podcast on iTunes. You can search for it there under Messages from the Masculine, and you can sign up, sorry, subscribe, and download my, my uh, recordings there. That's getting filled up some more slowly because my Facebook and YouTube are immediate. If I've ready the broadcast. My podcast is taking some time. So um, I invite you to come check them out if you ever need any help. If you have questions about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below. If you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them directly. You can do that after this is completed. And um, I invite you to take a choice, real relationship or codependent relationship, because I'm kind of separated that way. And that I'll leave for you to think about. I appreciate you watching. I'll be back in tomorrow. I think it should be 5 p.m. Pacific time. I have another commitment, so I may have to move it earlier. I'll announce on Facebook if I do, and you can track me, follow me, be notified there if you do that. By the way, if you don't, don't know how to do it, I believe somewhere on this broadcast there's a button somewhere says to get notified when I go live, or next time I go live, so you can stay tuned and be connected when I go live again. Um, I appreciate you watching, as always. I'll see you again tomorrow for number 464. We'll see what the broadcast is going to be. So Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, I do this broadcast at 5 p.m. Pacific time usually. Good messages from the masculine to inspire the feminine heart. If you feel you're getting value from this, let me know that too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.